Hey kids, Mama Nature here. Today we're gonna make something that I just came up with last week and I am just dying to share it with you all because it came out so perfectly. It's a pork tenderloin lemon rosemary medallion on the grill. Mm. Mama Nature here. by slicing my pork tenderloin in pieces that are slightly thicker than an inch. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them into a big Ziploc bag because we're going to allow it to marinate for about an hour in the bag. And really I find that to be the easiest way to do it. You can squeeze out all the air, it's super simple. All right, so I'm slicing them into pieces that are about an inch thick, maybe an inch and a half thick. And I'm not going to worry about getting rid of all the fat just yet because when you're grilling, you, you sort of want that. It's going to impart a lot of flavor and, um, well, it's going to keep your meat nice and moist. And the pork fat is really delicious. So there you go. So I'm putting these into the bag in a single layer and I'll tell you why when we get there. You wanna make sure that your blade is nice and sharp. You don't wanna use a serrated blade because you're gonna make a mess of the meat. But if your chef's knife is good and sharp, you can see what a beautiful cut that makes. And when you grow your own herbs, it's really nice to be able to just go right out into your garden and take what you need. Now before I pick just any random branch, I'm gonna talk to the plant first and make sure that our intention is known. And then I'm gonna ask for permission and I'm gonna wait for the plant to offer up a branch to me. And that's when I'm gonna know that I've been heard and that when my intuition says, okay, this one, that the plant has spoken to me. And then I say, thank you. Now I'm also gonna ask my lemon tree for permission and ask her to offer up some fruit for us. There we go. Oh, beautiful, they came out right in my hand. That's perfect. Okay, the lemon and rosemary have both been washed really well. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lemon and roll it on my cutting board. Slice it in half. Look at how juicy that is, oh my gosh. Okay, and then this goes in here upside down. And then we squeeze it directly into the bag with the meat, okay? Squeeze it right on there. And I'm gonna do both halves. See how that comes out inside out? That means we got everything. All right. Other half, squeeze it in there on everything. Very good. All right. Now the rosemary is uh, just gonna be stripped. We're just gonna strip the leaves. So I'm gonna take with my fingers and just pull the leaves off and sprinkle them on top of my fillets, my, my little medallions. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. And you see, it, this was really just like a, a sprig and a half. You can get this in your supermarket, but of course, if you grow your own, there's nothing fresher. So all the medallions are in there in a single layer. We've got the juice of an entire lemon in there. And then you can see that I put the rosemary leaves over all of the fillets. And then I flipped it and I did the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna let this marinate for about an hour. And all I'm gonna do is maybe every 20 or 30 minutes I'll flip it. So I'm only gonna flip it once or twice just to make sure all the lemon juice is getting on all of the medallions. Now we're gonna 
pluck some potatoes out of the ground for our side dish. Gonna do some mashed potatoes, I think, today. That's simple. Just keep it simple. They're beautiful. Nothing like your own homegrown. So I'm in the middle of doing a Whole30 right now. So I made my own ghee, and that's what I'm gonna use in the potatoes and in my string beans. Riddle, and we're doing it with a little bit of pineapple. Kind of like when you put the pineapple rings on your ham, when you bake a ham. Look at that. Oh boy. I wish you could smell it. There you have it. The whole thing probably took oh, 15 minutes after we marinated the meat, of course, for an hour. And oh boy, I can't wait to dig in.